do you suffer from insomnia or do you have difficulty sleeping at night because you have these thoughts racing through your head, you get an idea that pops in your head and now you're up all night and you're not getting the full seven to eight hours of sleep that is needed for your body. Well, listen to this video and I'm gonna provide some tips and if you apply these tips into your life daily, I guarantee you, you're gonna see some change, but you need to start to apply these. You probably won't see the change for about a, a month or two, but you will see a change if you apply them now. You see, what happens when we're sleeping, within the nervous system, you have the sympathetic nervous system, which has been known as your fight for flight, and then you have the parasympathetic, nervous system which is your rest and digest when you're sleeping the parasympathetic needs to be in full throttle to allow your body to recover and when you have these thoughts racing through your head and your sleep is being disrupted the sympathetic nervous system is going to kick back on and you're not getting that proper recovery at night and you're going to have higher anxiety and fatigue throughout the day and that is why this is important and I'm going to provide some tips to help you with the sleep issue of when you have those thoughts running to your head. Now, if you have a pain-related sleep problem, the pain's keeping you awake, I'm gonna focus on, I'm gonna talk about this in another video on pain psychology and how to deal with pain-related insomnia. But this video is mainly gonna focus on dealing with the thoughts, that, when you have these thoughts come in your head and you are having the inability to stay asleep during the night. Step one is preparing your mind to know that it is time to sleep. And this is gonna help you fall to sleep and stay to sleep. And in order to prepare the mind, what you must first do is look at where you sleep in your bedroom. Your bedroom should only be designed for a place to sleep and a place to have sex and get dressed and that is it. If you have TVs in your room, if you are doing other activities in your room that are other than sleep, you need to try and modify the structure in your house and pull those things out. So your mind knows when I'm going into that room, I am there to sleep only. And that starts to help get your, your circadian uh, sleep schedule back into set and helps your mind know, hey, it is time to sleep. So prepare your room, your bedroom for a place of sleep and eliminate those other activities from your bedroom. The next step is taking control of your mind because the sympathetic nervous system is firing. You have these neurons, brain cells in your head that are continuing all the, the traffic of the neural pathways. You need to shut those down. And so the way, way you do that, there's something called transcendental med meditation. And a lot of people, they don't really buy into the meditation. You, a lot of, you think it's hippie stuff, hey, that ain't for me. But it is an important technique that can help shut your brain off. And what you're gonna do is as soon as those thoughts are racing through your mind, going to keep your eyes closed and you are going to just focus on one thought and, and you need to come up with a mantra maybe that mantra is I want to sleep better I want to have better health I want to not be tired you think of that over and over in your mind and then as the thoughts enter your head that are I've got to do this I need to do that hey I should focus on this or whatever thought that is keeping your mind racing you push that thought out and you continue to say that mantra I need that thought to go and you just, during the 20 minutes, you are focusing. And while you're doing that, you are doing some diaphragmatic breathing. Diaphragmatic breathing is when you're deeping, deep, breathing deep through your nose, you take a deep breath and you don't feel your lungs filling, you feel your belly. You're diaphragmatic, you're feeling your belly push out. So you're pushing, filling your belly full of air and then you're letting it relax. You are constantly pushing the thoughts out that are keeping you awake. Another technique if you're having difficulty, look on YouTube and look up binary beats or sleep hypnosis. There are a lot of uh, different videos out there where someone's talking to you through your sleep, or there are certain sounds that just kind of soothe you and keep your mind off them. So you wake up in the middle of the night and you're having trouble sleeping and you're trying to get those thoughts out of your head. Have this YouTube video ready and, and listen to it and just hit play, pop in your earphones or whatever and listen to it and that'll help get your mind and have your mind focusing specifically on the sounds or the voices you're hearing in them and that will help put you back to sleep. Also, if you use a, there's an app called Sleep Cycle and this is an app where as you're sleeping you go through these different REM cycles up and down and if your alarm goes off and you're in the middle of one of those cycles you feel so tired but if you use one of these uh, Sleep Cycle alarms it, and say your alarm's set for six o'clock and you're coming out of a cycle at like 5.45, it's gonna wake you up then and you're gonna feel so much more 
rested than if your alarm would have went off in the middle of a sleep cycle. Another technique is download the app called CBTI. I'm gonna have a link to that in the description here. That ha and there's a, there's a bunch of different buttons on there that can take you to some different um, breathing and meditation techniques that will help you sleep, but there's a button just for sleep and it takes you through um, a technique where it, you are going to squeeze and flex different muscles and as you squeeze those muscles and take a deep breath, you're gonna focus and feel the sensation of the relaxation as that tension goes away. And it has you start with your jaw, your shoulders, your abs, all, all the way down to flexing your feet. And this is a good technique too, to also relax you. Another technique is as you're preparing for bed, start to prepare your mind about an hour before you're getting ready for bed. And part of this preparation is turning down all the lights in your house. Um, minimal lights and turning down the noises, the distractions. And also if there's some, some herbal tea, sleepy time, chamomile and things like that will also help settle the mind and get it ready. Additionally, you can get some like eucalyptus type of sprays and things like that that seem to help the mind fall asleep as well. That You just kind of spray those around your pillow, around, around your legs and those will help you at all. But I guarantee you at least try these techniques for a month and you will see a change in your sleeping pattern.